Look everyone, I cleaned my electronics workbench. Let's do a tour. So over here on the right, uh, I have these old wine boxes that I separated out with a uh, particle board. And so I cut these to size and finish nailed and glued in these separators. And they've been working really well. It adds a lot, of, a lot more storage space to what would otherwise be just a big two big empty boxes. So up here, there's some wire. Um, I didn't really see a lot on the internet from people about how they store their hookup wire. Maybe it's not as used as I think it is, but um, so this side, you can see these dowels are glued into this. And then on this side, they're not. So I can tap this off and replace the spools if I need to. Um, and it's great. It's handy. It's small. I can put it wherever and grab stuff as I need it. Uh, copper clad here for etching circuit boards. Backup multimeter. This is just miscellaneous crap. Definitely by far masking tape, hot glue gun, and tape measure are the things I use most over here. And let's see, terrarium, I don't, you know, use it per se, but it really adds a lot of value to my uh, mental health. There's a little mouse in there and a little skull. These are digital calipers, which are really great. Um, they're really accurate and not super expensive. You can score things with them, which is good. Uh, Various, you know, things I've stored, postcards, watercolors that I've blocked with all these tools. This is called a magnet toolbar. And, you know, they're meant for like garages. Um, but this has been a huge help because most of these tools used to be down in this thing, which, as you can see, is already pretty crowded. So it just got a lot of stuff off the workspace area and also easily accessible which was it was great and so this thing i did build this out of um a thin plywood pens pencils markers um and then the back is sort of miscellaneous stuff um really tiny tweezers are great this thing is called a spudger and it's awesome it has sort of a blade on this end and a stabber on that end <laughs> for for lack of a better term um and it's just hard plastic um solder sucker diamond files um i actually don't use a lot of these rulers what i use the most is this six inch engineering ruler so it's helpful in electronics to have inches and millimeters and it's just, uh, you know, rigid, flat, straight, etc. Got some conversions on the back. That's that's what I use 97% of the time. And then if I need a longer one, it's right there. Um, this thing gets knobs off of stuff really well. This is some silicone grease, razor blade, etc., etc. That's a jeweler's loop, and a big eraser, and a little bit of sandpaper, and a thread puller, and a calculator. Okay. Uh, over here. This is great. I mean, these are great. So obviously this first one is just full of random crap that I need to put away. But these are good for, like, screws or um, component leads or whatever as I'm working. I'll put a couple of those out and just kind of sort things as I go. It's way better than having loose stuff all over the place. Dental floss, that's for um, teeth. Over here, we've got uh, these things that you can buy at any hardware store, component drawers. I have no more to say about those. Uh, um, probes are over here. This is um, PVC pipe that I cut to length and then taped together. And that was great because before that, all these probes were just loose up there and now they have little homes and they don't 
fall over each other or get tangled or whatever. So here we've got all the manageable sized capacitors and resistors. So meaning bigger capacitors are stored elsewhere, but these are great. I built these wooden boxes um, and before the I made these, I was using boxes for tea, the boxes that tea comes in. So I list the tolerance of the resistor or whatever else, maybe the wattage if it's a special wattage, and then the resistance on the left. They're in sequential order, so I'm not code searching or going through tens and looking back or anything like that. Um, and these are called number two coin envelopes, and they just uh, work really well. It saves a lot of space, and I can find what I need when I need it. Soldering iron, pencil sharpener, oscilloscope, power supply, function generator, frequency counter. Uh, and they used to be in one stack before I built this wooden shelf. They used to be in one stack, and the oscilloscope was on the surface of the desk. So it was annoying, because if there were things in the way, which usually there are, I couldn't uh, get at the probes very easily, turn the dials, look at the screen. So this little shelf I built has been a great improvement, and now there's more storage space down here and stuff. So um, all of this test equipment I got online, just, you know, obviously it's not super new, so I got things old and cheap, relatively speaking. This thing rules. Um, this is like an extending arm uh, magnifying light. I don't work through it because it's uh, distorted and you know, if it wobbles or something, it just makes my brain go fuzzy. But it's great for um, like inspecting solder joints and stuff after the fact. Uh, soldering iron. This is uh, how I exhaust solder fumes. So it's a bath fan that I bought, just, you know, the cheapest one I could find, essentially. I didn't really care about noise. And I put it in a box, and you can see there's a pipe clamp here with, that goes to this duct. And the duct is attached to a foam piece that is shaped like a wedge. And that fits into this window. So this is more or less what it looks like when I'm soldering. I built this um, little bench for my workbench, a bench bench, because when I first started doing this, I spent a couple weeks hunched over whatever I was working on, and my body hated me for it. So I adjusted accordingly. Now this is a bit closer to eye level for me, especially if I lower my chair all the way. Got a soldering iron, little dish out, a wiring diagram or whatever I need. The computer is probably on too with the schematics or something. And then here's the fan ducting. I got my light on. That's venting all the way out the window to get those solder fumes out of my house. I also wear a respirator and safety goggles, as you can see. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about anything I said, literally, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you.